today one of the most beautiful women in the game of the Legend of Renarizia. And as usual. Stay triggered. Pew pew. Pew. Welcome back. Let's talk about Emma for a second. Let's cover her profile. Let's see what she's all about. So she is a female, age 20, royal guard, as of now, that I've kind of leveled her up all the way, so you can kind of get to see what she's like at the top. But uh, let's talk about this. She is a priestess working for the Holy Watchman of the Runes Publicity Unit. Since a young age, she has consistently been compared to her childhood best friend, Selena. She is constantly working harder than Selena and takes pride in being discreet. But she cannot escape the reality that no matter how hard she tries, she is unable to surpass Selena's natural gifts. This has caused her to develop a deep jealousy of Selena. Rudo detects her true feelings and persuades her to join his cause. She is wholly loyal to Rudo and will sacrifice her life for him if need be. Holy cow, wow. Before we get into it, let's roll the intro. Alright. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, you know, nice little thumbs and uh, subscribe, that'd be great. But um, let's talk about Emma today. I want to show you her at her peak as far as what I've been able to get her up to, just so you can see how good she is. She is essentially the closest counterpart. Now, I know we got Kyle, but I'd have to say she's very close to matching up to Rudo in a sense of attack and just general worth I'd have to say Rudo and Emma together I can just take those two out in the battlefield and just tear it up she is really that good what do you get with a Lancer class or you know Lancer guard royal guard what do you get with them well essentially you get the spear right here you know you can equip some Lance Ice Lance, Thunder Spears, you get some fantastic gear as Lancers. Lancers were kind of a little under parred in a past game, in a past incarnation of Burgundine. Now, they are akin to Paladins. I'm just saying, they're that good. They're very reliable. All right, so you get that, you get some heavy armor. This is the symbol for heavy armor there. You get a heavy helmet and a ring. Uh, silence immunity. Uh... I can't remember how I got this, but I think this is what you get as this class. I'm pretty sure you get this. You get a parry skill, so essentially you get like Dinadan blocking movements like you had with Dinadan in the past, and so it's pretty nice. 20% chance of parrying normal attacks and skills from a single enemy when triggered. Damage is reduced by 50. So 20% chance to block half damage, essentially, is what it's telling me right there counter damage up to S. So this essentially means you're getting sort of pseudo Zemeckis skills like you did in the previous game where he has counter damage up, but this is up to 20%. Now Zemeckis only had 10%. This is even more. So putting her in a front line and being the pinnacle point of action or being an aggressive flanker is the best option for Emma and for Royal Guards in general. Okay, just letting you know. All right, so let's look at rune growth. Wow, B. Character growth, not that special, but command range is at four. So so we got this checked, and we got this checked. It's nice. Um, I know when you're looking at some of these things, it says swamp here, but really this means just wetlands. So swamp is, I think, 20% evasion, and an ocean, a river is 10%. So it's a little bit of a change but either way you're getting more percentage to dodge in the water so that's always good mobility of five uh we got defense of 140 naturally aspirationing right there and uh we got pretty good attack 156 you know it's not bad and we got a whopping 827 hit points and 255 mp i'm just saying these stats pretty dang good I, I like them. They work out pretty well. When I use Emma in the field, like, this is one of my most confident teams ever. So, what do you get at level 30? Okay, let's look at this. You get Cold Thrust right here, which, normal attack, blah, 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 blah. And it has 120 power plus 11 accuracy, blue dot, you know, 
up and down, ground sky, all that stuff, no MP. Now we go up to the next attack, which is Deadly Rush, deals major damage to a single adjacent enemy unit. So this is major damage. This is a pre-move. This is a pre-move right there. So right here is a pre-move, and it does go up with damage to 170. You do get a bonus of 21 accuracy. Pretty good. But it does cost you... 50 MP, right? Okay. Now, go up to Killing Slice, another pre-move right here, but this just literally swings around in a circle. So you hit everybody in a circle, very much like... They kind of made the... They made the Lancer class more like the Viking class in here, in that sense, where they can spin around and hit everybody. Um, also Dark Knight too, but Dark Knight does cost money to do it, or MP to do it, I mean. But, um, you know, as you can see, it's not as strong as the top move 120 no accuracy bonus because you're automatically going to hit everything so be careful when you use this because you'll hit your own characters too if they're planted next to you so you have to kind of like really i use this a lot if i'm not sure what to do and there's nobody by me that's my enemy or, or that's or that's my ally i should say i mix that up but if there's nobody next to me that i can hurt that's my ally you can just use this all day long. Doesn't cost you any MP, and they can't counterattack, which is just awesome. So this one here, big check mark. You know, you can just kind of wander around, do what you want with that. All right, let me clear the screen real quick so this doesn't get all in a way. But um, what is Grand Wave? This is your last basic attack. Now, it doesn't look like it's as strong as Deadly Rush because Deadly Rush is 170 here. You know, and this is 120, but uh, deals moderate damage to all units in a two hex straight line. So when we look over here and we see this thing, it shows a two hex straight line. So you're hitting what's in front of you and the thing behind it. So it's like a small breath attack. It's kind of like a lizard breath attack in a sense, if you think about it from the previous game. Lizard breath, two hex radius in a row. Essentially, that's what it is. Um, so it's pretty cool because it gets behind the guy that's being blocked and so it's essentially an earthquake attack if you look at it you'll see earth come up underneath the ground and like ugh, you know hit him from underneath it's a pretty cool attack nice thing about it though i know it's not as strong as the uh deadly brush but you get an extra orb so that is extra damage right and um it does cost 80 mp now i gotta say once i get up to this level i try to go in and finish people off the grand wave if i can but if I can't, I'll sit around doing Deadly Rush. So, so the two ones that I do a lot are Deadly Rush and Grand Wave. And if I can't do anything else, I'll go for a Killing Slice just because I don't have any MP left and I just want a free attack and not get counterattacked. And, you know, it's it's kind of nice because if I do a Killing Slice, I already have counterattack damage up plus, but that's only when I'm counterattacking from the enemy's perspective, not when I'm attacking and then they you know, counterattack me. So, you know, try to take some of that uh, in mind while you're playing this. Uh, you'll get a feel for it. You'll see what you like to do, and, you know, you'll do what you want to do, essentially. But I'd have to say, if you're trying to look for something good to do just to get some damage going, you're probably just going to have a lot of fun just coming up and just doing Grand Wave as much as possible. You know, it's, a, it's really fun. It's really fun to do. If you don't want to really you know, put a lot of thought into some things. It's It just can be easy to just pull that off, okay? So what else do we have here? Now, this is a beautiful thing. We have Fallberg with the Lancer class, and you're like, why does the Lancer class have Fallberg? I don't know, but they do. So it's expensive. It's a hundred and, you know, it's, it. I mean, it's, it's a good power. It's very, very strong, but the problem is it's got to kind of match up to your intelligence, which he does have good intelligence of 99. So, I'm just saying, she can do a Fallberg and it's going to hurt. It will hurt because she does have good intelligence. It does cost 135 MP to do. So, I would recommend doing it if you got somebody that's like a big red drag and you want to take down. This would be the perfect move to do it. Just pop the Fallberg on him. It does have a two range radius. It is a pre-move. It is a magic spell. You can cross-class a witch into this class to get her the Fallberg, which they naturally don't get. 
and get it that way. This is what I've done. It's a really cool tactical thing to do if you want to do it right. All right, so what other spells? There's resist and the spell break. Spell break just essentially breaks the spells, any buffs, the debuffs, then that 3x radius. This really works for weakness and the magic down thing. So it kind of works for those, essentially. Which spell break is kind of good in that sense because if you got somebody trying to put weakness on you, I mean, she can do all these moves and she can take the weakness off. I mean, you just... You, you can't really go wrong with a Lancer class now. Lancer class in the past, it was like, uh, sort of situational. I mean, there's some of them are pretty good, and then some are just kind of okay, but now, you just can't go wrong. All right, resist was a do, increases magic resistance, kind of like what you had in the past with ward spell. Pretty much the same thing. I think almost the same exact MP cost, too. And, uh, yeah. And that's pretty much what you got. So, you know, got a big red dragon you want to take down, Fallberg come in to attack and a weak easy character run up and do a grand wave it's not even a pre-move you can just walk up to the edge of the enemy line and just slam them with this and then you got you got counter damage up <laughs> once they start attacking you i mean you can't you you're kidding me this is so good i'm serious this is so good i like there's all these good things here and if you just want to stay in the front line and not put anybody near you just keep a unicorn nearby to keep you healed or a loop heal of some kind you can just keep killing slice and not even take you know counter damage from your initial attack and just hit six things in a row literally all these things around you if they get completely swarming around you you'll hit all of them you just spin the spear around and wham you hit everybody around you it, they really cranked up the lancer class i mean i gotta say i'm very very happy with how they put together this Lancer class. But I have to say, Emma as a whole, I, she might she might be one of the best Lancers. Now, I, I don't know if she is the best Lancer, but she is in the top three as far as Lancers are concerned in this game that I like. So, and she's also kind of hot. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about Emma. I'd like to hear uh, from you. Drop a comment down there, down below the thing. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and definitely subscribe for more. We've got more videos coming out soon. All right. Take care. This has been Veracity Trigger. I'll see you later.